I'm standing above the rock garden on the southwest slope of the summit of Mary's Peak. From here down to that rock outcrop is one of the most unusual places in Western Oregon. This is our little Western Oregon desert. But this place gets 100 inches of rainfall every year, so how can it be a desert? Strong winds blow in in the winter on this exposed slope and blow all the snow away. So when spring comes around, there's no snow melt to moisten the soil. And then the summer sun bakes it dry. And the winds carry the moisture away. This creates desert-like conditions that are just un inhospitable to most plants. But there are plants growing here amongst the rocks. Some of these are common in the high deserts of eastern Oregon. The plants that grow in the subalpine zone at the top 200 feet of Mary's Peak are adapted to harsh winters and short growing seasons. These plants aren't found on any of the other hills and mountains you see around here. They aren't even found on the lower slopes of Mary's Peak. For a few weeks each year, the rock garden and the summit of Mary's Peak are covered with spectacular displays of wildflowers. This is the reason we have a scenic botanical special interest area up here. But these ecosystems are fragile. Some of the plants that grow here will take a century to regrow into an area that a bulldozer can scrape bare in a minute. And our boots and our vehicles bring in alien seeds that compete with the native plants. All of these things are combining to slowly exterminate these unique plant communities up here that make Mary's Peak a special place. How can we protect these special plant communities from the thousands of visitors who come up here every year and still not spoil the outdoor experience for our visitors?